<laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm, uh, where uh, I've had to replay this from the start because I didn't realise that we actually hadn't hit a checkpoint, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so I've been through, done all the stuff in the room again, uh, and I've decided on wearing last night's t-shirt. It's the only change I've made. And we are now going to go... Shit. Where's my phone? Oh. God, where is here. her phone? How drunk was I last night? Chloe! I said breakfast! Uh -oh. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Oh, that's going to be fun. Ah, that's the checkpoint. That's okay. typical. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Okay, so the house hasn't changed. The view hasn't changed. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Hmm. Still don't know what these two rooms are. Anything exciting in the bathroom? Oh man, that uh, that black eye is going to need covering. Preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Oh dear, puns. Mom's hiding her grey hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe grey hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair grey. Ah, <laughs> oh, she is not the fan of David, but uh, we knew that. Alright, there's no birds in here this time, at least. So we can't do anything about our eye. Uh, that's our room. Okay. Take into Joyce's room. Ring. Ring. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine. If I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Hmm. Alas, Chloe. That is most likely not to be. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Oh, shit. And if I hadn't spent that money on weed, maybe I could have... Mind you, she wouldn't know. Purse. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. What's in the drawers? Oh. that she hides all our old pictures of dad. Ooh. Uh. Let's leave that there for now. Oh. Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for <laughs> I did not need to see that. Right, that's the phone there. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. It's in the book. I want mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this. Uh, a guide to forgiving oneself and moving forward. I honestly cannot imagine what it must be like for somebody who has lost their spouse. You know, it's, it's hard enough losing your grandparents, which I've done over the last few years. Um, and at some point, you know, we're going to have to lose our parents and then siblings. I've got two siblings, so they're both younger than me, in theory. They should go after me, but life sucks like that. Who can we actually read the book? Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. I've forgotten what that little Don't symbol was give for. give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. <laughs> fire. Ugh. Hmm. Do I want to know what's in the drawer? 
It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. That's kind of weird. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Mm -mm -mm. Why am I getting an echo? I don't know why I'm getting an echo. Uh... <sighs> Dad, if you could see us now. Kind of be obvious you that we've been in there. Be stuck in a drawer like this. Yeah, that's going to have consequences. Of course, there's no take backs. I should call my phone. At least she knows her own number. How can mom look at this every day and not see Ugh, the porn stash. Oh, well, it is in the house at least. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Ah! Ugh, I drank way too much last night. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Zero! Because you have no friends. Message from Elliot. Elliot with one L. Ugh. I already know everything. Oh dear. There will be consequences. Breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have I to face her. In her room. Yep, we did. It was down to the side of the cabinets. Oh, so that offers us the opportunity to. Uh, they should take that down to mom. To check things out. Oh, uh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. <sighs> Dad, if you could see us now. Just wondered whether we could actually put it back. The thing hidden down here. What is that? Oh, it's a curtain rail. Can't check out that. I'm assuming that's a certificate. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming, Joyce. Coming, mom. <laughs> coming, mom. Dum dum dum. Checkpoints. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table. Here I come. Yeah, we've still got the issue that we've got a big ass booze on our face. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And Ugh. you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Ugh. Parents don't have sex. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Anything Mom in the trash? Mom doesn't want me to know, 
but it's pretty clear her boy toy David hasn't washed in like a year. Unread mail. Any letter from Blackwell is uh -oh. not good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Oh man. So not only are we barely going to school, but uh Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <laughs> <sighs> and never looked back. Oh man, she sounds so sad. This was a photo of Family William, wasn't it? used to hang here. I Wow. I can't actually remember which one. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Don't we all? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Mm -hmm. We're already supporting one. Thanks. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. How oh, nice. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, I don't know. Those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Oh, so it was the ashtray that she made, not the, the key ring. Hey, the snowdo's here. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Shaky, shaky. We know we can't destroy it big whoa. Well that's definitely little dude's like, what the hell just happened? No mark down that. Uh right. Look at the paper. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. The real estate developer Sean Prescott promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he will be effect ending operations. Effect oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've already seen the stuff about the pension plan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous <laughs> stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're <laughs> poor and in trouble. Oh dear. Tuition hike. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar calibre, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasised that in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year won by sophomores Stella and Brooke, we know both of those from the first game, the school's programme of need-based scholarship remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records, which of course Chloe would get if it weren't for the fact that she's rather gone off the rails. Dad's oh, the swear jar is still there. He spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Man, that's, that's surprisingly depressing. The, the, the last, I don't know, physical reminder of him and, and the fun that they had. Because we saw the, the swear jar in action in Life is Strange when Max jumped back into her 13-year-old self's body. And there, were, there was quite a lot of change in there. But the fact that they've had to spend that fun if you like Mom's on purse is pretty heavy just basics 
I still don't know why there's mayonnaise is in a mustard thing. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Mm -mm. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. I'm cold. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. True that. Speak. Thank you. Hey, there Mom. we go. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. <laughs> when I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Snark is one of my favourite words. Uh, I'm going to apologise. Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? Nope. What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Ooh, okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to yes. love to learn. That's yeah. true. She was a science I nerd. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? He's Chloe. just a friend. You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old fashioned. Yeah. An old fashioned dickhole. <laughs> um talk about the pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? <laughs> Oh, yes. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Mm. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? Uh, what? I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? Oh. I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, uh -oh. saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Oh, do you know? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom. The whole point of lowering expectations is so you're <laughs> disappointed in me. Oh, I shouldn't laugh Never at that. Again. That's you're not funny. That's sad. Doing. Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, now we should say maybe David could help. She's going to have to bring up that he's not actually got a job. Well, if I say maybe I just need to be left alone. Uh, I 
don't really want to talk about David. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. Ugh. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Ah, oh, do we go for the guilt trip and bring up William, or do we? Oh. To be fair, either of these options are going to hurt Joyce. But at the end of the day, Chloe was a daddy's girl. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very yeah. hard. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Chloe's not good at compromise. But... Mm. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. I'll try and be nice, but see I if it helps. You. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. <laughs> That's one word for it. You. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Get it. <laughs> Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Man. David his keys is about the most humiliating thing mom could ask me to do. It's really not. But again, as I said, maybe I just don't understand. You know. Almost wish I could slip mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. Ah, uh, so if I hadn't spent the money on uh, whatever it was, was it weed? Um, I could have put that in her purse. Um, although chances are, if two hundred dollars was it suddenly appeared, that might look a little bit, a little bit odd. Button. We're already supporting. Oh, one. thanks. A badge, as we call it over here in Britain. <laughs> the look of disgust. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. We Ugh. better get going. Right. Nothing on the phone. Can't check that. Ooh. Text message. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph. Have your DVD. Oh, we read that in yesterday's episode. Um... What are these? Oh, 
Oh, they're, they're various pieces of, of intel and stuff that we can look through. Okay. Let us leave. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> I thought I knew she was going to say that. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Hello to We're you too. You men will leave without us. No, mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a child. <laughs> Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. What? Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. To be fair, David doesn't actually help himself. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Muscle car. Tiniest penis in all of our kitty. <laughs> What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Oh, does he think no. he's moving in or something? Well, we know he does. And they get married. Fire extinguisher. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. That's a bit harsh. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Oh, and she does, doesn't she? That's that's the stereo that she actually has, and that's her dad's, dad's camera. Old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? But she still takes it. Uh oh, mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the porn stash. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Interesting that they blocked off the other section. Toolbox. What are these? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Oh, that's the, the board that was out in the garden. That we use for our uh, mystery board. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? Ouch. What's in the box? The wrench. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. I, I like the fact that they've got a little bit of expression. Ooh. I saw you there, graffiti if option. It's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. This couldn't possibly what go wrong. What message does David really need to hear? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the really mature Got box it. of dicks. <laughs> this doesn't in any way <laughs> classy. Uh, this doesn't in any way reflect me as a person. Honest. <laughs> oh dear lord. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we actually get to take those bits and pieces up. You don't need a wrench set to fix a spark plug, do you? Mom should date literally anyone else. 
So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Okay, so we can't talk to him about anything else. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Well, I wanted to check out all the stuff. That's how these games work. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Now, of course, she does know that because she's a science nerd, or she has been a science nerd. Um, did he replace the spark plug? Oh, Fine. go on. Whatever. Try. Hey, didn't. you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. Ooh. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Size isn't everything, David. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Nah. Fuck. <laughs> have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed no, I will not. enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Ooh. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh. The trouble is, we did promise Joyce that we'd try. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. He's Am not technically clear? wrong. Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. I mean, Chloe does realise eventually that she's been very, very selfish, but it does take her the entirety of the first game in order to to get to that point. Country music? Wait, what? What? Dad loved this song. Hold on. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the night again. What is this a flashback or a dream or what? I didn't what think there was going to be any. Day. I What's know going what on? Spark plug does jerk. This, this isn't right. No, this is some kind of weird dream stroke nightmare sequence. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. What is going on? Dad, turn it up.
Picking up my lover from the grocery store. What? Oh. Oh, man. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was, uh, that caught me at the worst. Jeez. So is that what actually happened to David? Uh, not to David, to, to William? Because we know he was in a car accident. So he got hit by a train. Shit. It's no wonder Chloe's got such a relationship, such as it is, with trains. If that's... If that's what's happened. Jeez. Oh, right. Um, that's going to end episode three of the uh, the Life is Strange Before the Storm playthrough. Uh, I'm going to go take a little break after that and then come back and record another one. If you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, there'll be more of this content soon. Really enjoying this so far. Really enjoying this. Good stuff. <laughs>